Computer hacking is becoming an ever-increasing threat to organisations both in the public and private sectors, as cyber criminals become ever more sophisticated. Computing visited the University of Coventry's ethical hacking labs to find out how they're training the cybersecurity experts of the future to beat the hackers at their own game. We really need to focus on how we can design systems better. Security is one of those things which is often brought on or added on, as it were, and that's, that's the concept around it, that you can just add security onto systems, and that's really not true. And that's why a lot of systems fail. What we really need is for people to realise that security needs to be um, understood, modelled, and built in right from scratch. This would mean that it will take years before our systems can cope um, with cyber attacks, any type of malicious attempts, malware, um, and I, I think you know that that's why that that mindset needs to change. It will take time. Um, we will stumble along, um, but there are some improvements in terms of skills, in terms of changing people's mindset. Um, but it will take time. Yes, it, it's a design element, really. Um, we need to think of ways where we can um, protect systems. We can uh, make our enable our systems to be defensible. So we may not be able to defend against um, uh, uh, zero-day attacks or you know vulnerabilities protect you know against vulnerabilities that that we can't sort of see all the time it, it, they emerge. What what needs to happen is that we need to design our systems in a way where we can at least salvage um, sensitive data, um, salvage some level of service, and then be able to track track back um, to attackers or sources of compromise so we can then address that and that just means you know once again you know a lot of good skilled people can um, think about good design uh, good monitoring systems um, good forensics um, in order to be able to allow us to prosecute people who you know uh, 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 who are responsible um, for this um, and, 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 and their onwards and it also requires some level of legislation and policy um, uh, sort of help which would help us achieve those. How do you design a course for something as dynamic as cybersecurity? Because surely once something's written down, it's already going to be out of date. So in terms of pedagogy, in terms of our teaching methods, one of the things that I encourage here is that we do two things. First, we um, do a lot of case study work, case study analysis, which means that we take on stuff from the real world and ask students to delve into that in terms of technology and law and policy. What that means, not a week goes by without a story of privacy or security, which is fantastic for me, in a sense that I can take those new stories and, and a lot of the te technological details that emerge you know, from that to students and say, look, this is what's happened recently out in the real world, it's having real impact, and what's happening there. And what that allows us to do is every year, if I have a a new focus or a new problem that's emerged out in the media that, that the media is reporting on, I can take that to students and say, look, this is how things were being used or abused before, and now the attacker's methodology is somewhat changing. And, and that's, that's very useful, and I think we need to do that. We need to get students from a very early on, get students to f focus on um, uh, uh, problems that are in the, in, in the real world. And the second thing we do is, um, <clears throat> and, and it's somewhat related, is um, we have we have a focus on uh, uh, on multidisciplinary sort of aspects of security. I always say this to my students in ethical hacking, for example, the ethical element comes first, you know. And and the idea is is to acknowledge that there are policy, legal, economic factors that affect security. And so the idea is is for once again for students to know how do we respond to this. And I think that's changed as well. There's a there's a call by the industry for better policy, better legislation, um, and I think as, as students uh, uh, see a lot of these emerging cases, they'll be able to appreciate, you know, the current trends and the recent sort of, you know, uh, uh, issues that are there in the industry. How do you encourage more people to look at cyber security as a career choice? Um, we need to make people aware that computing, computer science technology generally, is not just about mobile phones or consumer gadgets. It's a lot about our critical infrastructure, transport, for example, um, uh, power grids, um, healthcare, um, where there's a big use uh, and redesigning in terms of you know how 
electronic systems are used, data is used, and so on. Um, and we need to let people, we need to grow awareness around that um, a lot of these roles in the future, whether it's civil engineers or whether it's doctors or whether it's um, agriculturalists or farmers, they would have to be aware of issues around privacy and security. So that uh, career will evolve and we just need to raise that profile and raise that aspect of you know how it's relevant in a lot of other domains. And I think uh, that, 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 that's creeping up, you know, um, but it, it still it needs a lot more.